What's up guys, this is Ty Zen again with PrisonerFreedom.com. It's a blog where we uh, talk about the tools, the techniques, and the strategies and the technologies that's available to help people find freedom in their life. And with us here today is uh, James D'Angelo from the World uh, Bitcoin Network. And uh, we also have here uh, Vitali, okay, with uh, the Ethereum uh, project. And um, these are some of the guys that's in the forefront of helping people find freedom. You know, uh, when it comes to the currency uh, world, okay. Uh, uh, how old are you by time? Uh, I just turned twenty a month ago. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. Okay, good job. Hey, is it Vitalik or is it v Vitalik or uh, uh, Vitalik? Vitalik. Yeah. Vitalik. Okay, and uh, last name Buterin. Yeah. Buterin. Okay. When you look at Ethereum versus uh, the other altcoins that's on the market, let's take for example of like Next. Okay. Now, full disclosure. I help on the marketing with Next, okay? Mm -hmm. So, what makes Ethereum different? Because, like, from, from a non-technical perspective, from me, okay, a non-technical person, the things that you talk about, they talk about the exact same thing in Next. Right. Okay. So, right. In general, so what's the difference? Right. So the differ. I would say the difference is is that from what I've seen of Next, Next implements a lot of those features explicitly. Mm -hmm. They have transaction mm -hmm. types for all these different things. Yes. Whereas with Ethereum, we have uh, this programming language and you can just write, and you can just write all those features in the programming language, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So the benefit, so there, it seems like there's no difference between the two paradigms now because, oh sure, we all, su we all support all the decentralized exchange, financial derivatives and all the buzzwords. But mm -hmm. when you come up, if somebody comes up with some with something completely new that no one's ever thought of, yes. then it's not, if you have a blockchain design that's just based on having specific transaction types, it's not going to fit in. Whereas here, you just write it in, a, in, in the programming language. Okay. So, okay, so you're saying that one's a scripting language, the other one has a bunch of features, right? Yeah. What is to prevent the developers of Next to create a scripting language on um, top of it. Well, then wouldn't that be the same as Ethereum then? Except they're several months in advance? It's a little like trying to turn a tank into an airplane just because it has a motor, right? You have to really rebuild it all back yeah. up. Like actually okay. some, right. So you can't really build the scripting language on top because the idea is that it, for, for it to actually work, the scripting language actually has to have this foundation. Hook. Yeah, it has to have this hook and be actually have the power to send transactions. So it has to be at the foundation. Now, oddly enough, I actually did. I was looking through some of the next specs, and they have Turing complete scripting language as one of their watch list features. So, good, yeah. luck, good luck to you guys on that. I'm, I come from a neutral perspective. I yeah. just want the cryptocurrency world to Same. succeed. Yeah. It does not really matter to me if mm -hmm. it's Ethereum or if it's Next. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm, I'm neutral in that aspect. So, I know that there are some coders that might lean towards one side or lean towards another uh, uh, altcoin. But for me personally, as a non-technical person that just wants to see it succeed, I just want, and so my, my, I just throw that out there, right? Not as an attack on Next, not as an attack on Ethereum, but more of a curiosity question of sure. what's to prevent this altcoin mm -hmm. from developing the same yep. uh, 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 benefits that Ethereum has. Yeah, yeah, absolutely nothing. Like we're even, hand, I would say we're even handicapping ourselves just because everything we do is open, is completely open source. Okay. But it's yeah, at this now, point if yeah, like if you're if you're investing in, in, in Ethereum, I would say you're investing in the team to your and the community to a large extent. Okay. Um the other thing too is that what like what prompted you to do this um by itself? Like this uh, uh this uh script language, this yeah. Turing complete script, you know? Why why didn't you use your talents and your knowledge and your experience and and pick out one of the altcoins that's that's there. Yeah, well, up. so I actually was working with Mastercoin before Ethereum, and I'd actually and you know I was wor working on implementing savings wallets and contract contracts for difference. And that at that point, I came up with the came up with this idea of you know, hey, let's take this idea and let's actually generalize it. And the logical way to generalize things is well the programming language. And okay. I actually submitted the propo the proposal, but at that it point, fell on deaf ears. Well, it's uh, JR did it did it one said that that's a, I believe his words were that's something that we didn't want that that's not going to be in our timeline for at least a few months. 
And then, okay. yeah, basically I said, okay, you know. So, you, so you decided to leave that project and go build it from scratch yourself. Yeah, yeah JR actually has a, has a post on the Mastercoin blog where he, a few weeks ago, where he talks about that. Essentially, like he would prefer, prefer Mastercoin to be more of a, a sort of moderate and less less innovative but but more but more stable sort of thing okay. sort of in between bitcoin and ethereum okay okay yeah. that's all the questions i got about ethereum oh yeah i just i i think it's really exciting and i think like you said i think the team is really really uh, impressive as well so i have to say this based on my research out of all the altcoins that i think that ethereum had the most solid and organized um development team because I think that one of the advantages. Like a long I think that one of the advantages you guys have is that you're putting a face out there, yeah. so that people know who yeah. you are, who Charles is, is who job. everybody else yeah. is, mm-hmm. right? So that's that's one of the advantages I think that you guys have um, over a lot of the uh, other currencies. Oh, and I think people get it. I think people see the difference, and I think that's why they're joining. Right? It pretty much started with just him, and they came to it. He, okay. He got some great talent coming to him. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, I wish you the best of luck and uh, thanks for, you know, uh, spending the time with uh, James uh, D'Angelo from the World Bitcoin Network and myself. And uh, we wish you the great, great luck, you know. No, thank you. So, all right. Thanks, Todd, for putting all right. it together. All right. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for, for joining us. And um, what I'll do is I'll get um, um, uh, Vitalik's uh, Bitcoin address and leave it at the bottom of the video. And James D'Angelo also. If you guys appreciate their work, I invite you guys to, uh, um, you know, support them, send donations their way. Leon's I'm sure, as well. And Leon's as well. Our cameraman. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, um, um, you know, send them some uh, coffee donations or soda donations. I'm pretty sure you drink a lot of sodas while you're programming. Uh, no, actually. No? Coffee? Um, green tea. Green tea. Okay, there you go. Send some green tea donations to them. <laughs> All right. So thanks for joining us, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks for you know uh, spending the time with uh, James uh, D'Angelo from the World Bitcoin Network and myself, and uh, we wish you the great great luck. You know, oh, thank you. So all right, thanks Todd for putting all right. it together. All right, <laughs> all, right. all right, guys. Uh, thanks for, uh, for joining us. And um, what I'll do is I'll get um, um, uh, Vitalik's uh, Bitcoin address and leave it at the bottom of the video. And James D'Angelo also. If you guys appreciate their work, I invite you guys to uh, um, you know. Support them, send donations their way. Leon's I'm sure, as well. and Leon's as well. Our cameraman. <laughs> yeah, you know, and um, um, you know, send them some uh, coffee donations or soda donations. I'm pretty sure you drink a lot of sodas while you're programming. Uh, no, actually, no? coffee. Um, green tea. Green tea. Okay, there you go. Send some green tea donations to them. <laughs> All right. So thanks for joining us, and I'll see you guys in the next video.